Hi guys, welcome back to Organize with Eb. Today's video, I'm giving you some laundry motivation. So if you need to tackle some laundry, I'm encouraging you now to get up and start it as you're watching this video. So let's get into the video. So my particular laundry routine, we do it over a course of the weekend. I work Monday through Friday, so it's just a lot easier just to get everything done on the weekend because I clean pretty much every weekend as well. So I just make sure to tackle my laundry. I'm going to be honest with you guys, laundry is not my favorite chore to do at all. Um, I love cleaning, but I definitely don't love doing laundry. So I hope I can give you guys some tips today. So for towels, I always make sure to grab all the bath cloths that are in the tub or that's hanging up to dry and i also grab all the towels that we use for like the kitchen or um using in the bathroom like to dry our hands so i make sure every time i wash the towels i just go ahead and grab those so those stay nice and fresh sorry i didn't get to record this but i did take the sheets and blanket off of this bed and then we're going to be washing that later but i just want to show you guys a little trick um this bed is like a cloth bed so it gets dirty very very easily especially with eleni so the best way to clean some anything with cloth or like even on the inside of your car is just to take a baby wipe and wipe it down and it comes right off i promise like makeup will come right off so definitely try it if you have you know spots on any type of cloth like even on your couch and different things like that makeup comes right off with a baby wipe Another thing that I do is I always wash on the bulky sheet setting. The only reason I do that is because this washing machine is censored, so it just makes it a lot easier. But I'm not sure if anyone has this type of washing machine, but if you do, the bulky sheet setting does work great. Another great tip is once you take something out of the dryer, go ahead and tackle it right then because if not, your clothes and stuff are going to pile up. So I definitely recommend once something comes out of the dryer, take that five minutes or 10 minutes to go ahead and fold those clothes up. So that's what I'm doing here and I'll speed that up for you guys. I do have to say out of all the clothes you have to fold, I definitely find folding towels very satisfying. So um, I actually do enjoy this part of folding clothes, but the other parts, um, not so much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put everything up. I'm not gonna wait till later. So um, I'm encouraging you now, if you're doing laundry today, to go ahead and fold those clothes and go ahead and put them where they belong.
If you are enjoying this laundry motivation video so far, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I post content on cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle. So if you're into that type of content, you'll definitely love it here. So the next pile of laundry is just everyone's clothes in the house. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle that. But I'm also going to go ahead and start the next load. So I just throw my the clothes from the dryer onto the bed. And then I'll go ahead and switch everything over and start the new load. And this right here was the outdoor mat that I just placed underneath my welcome mat. I'll show you guys what it looks like whenever I put it back. But it was just looking pretty disgusting because it's been raining here a lot. So I just wanted to clean that up. I also want to mention that I do have an Instagram. It's organized with Ebb. I try to post inspirational things along with when I do post a video. I'm trying my best to stay on a schedule and post on Tuesday and Sunday. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, I would love for you to go ahead and do so. It'll alert you every time I post new content. I know I mentioned this in my last video, but another tip is I leave my hangers in the laundry room. So once the hangers are like I take clothes out of the closet whenever I wear the clothes, I just take the empty hanger and then I put it in the laundry room. So that way whenever I'm folding clothes and then um, ready to hang things back up, I know exactly where my hangers are instead of having to go to the closet search through the clothes and grab the empty hangers. So um, it makes that process a little bit faster. Kinda obvious what you want from me. Only calling when you feel alone. You make promises, then you let them go. So after this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mat that I washed that belongs outside. We're gonna go ahead and take that outside and put it under my welcome mat. Yeah. <laughs> 
So last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and make up the bed. This was the last load of laundry I had. It was definitely a tedious job because it's definitely something that I don't enjoy, but I hope it definitely gave you some motivation. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up here. Thanks for watching again. I hope this laundry motivation gets you up to tackle some laundry today or either tackle a task that you haven't done in a while. So I am encouraging you to get up right now to get that done. You'll feel better after it's finished, I promise. Um, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.